is the Mad Lib King, and today we're going to start a Kerbal Space Program series. Uh, role play series, actually. So, in this playthrough, we're going to actually pretend. You know, you know how role play works, I'm not going to explain it to you. Okay, so let's start the game. And of course, we're going to be the Royal Space Program. You know, in this wonderful Lebanese monarchy. Okay, so first of all, let's hire our astronauts. Well, we've got a lot of astronauts. I don't know if we could kill this many. <laughs> Get it? Because we're... Okay. Okay, so let's... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll, I'll tell bad jokes all the time. <laughs> so, first thing we need is a satellite to help connect the planet and to help communications between the base, the space base, and the ships. So we're going to go for an unmanned module, or command module. We'll call it the Lebo MTV Space Communicator. MTV is pretty big in Lebanon. I might add. Uh, what else can we do? Okay, yeah, so let's start. First thing we need is batteries. Bam. Second thing we need. Oh, what do you need for this? We need some satellites, of course. Oh yeah, I got an asteroid mod. We won't be playing with that though. This is a realistic role play. Mutual, is this it? Yes, this is it. We'll be using the satellite to connect back to Kerbal. Let's just start building the actual rocket right now. Okay, so let's have a decoupler. I'm sure you guys know what the uh, asparagus system is. If you don't, then today's your lucky day because I'll be showing you what it is. way there we go so if you know if you subscribe to any other big youtubers who play Kerbal Space Program you might know what the asparagus system is basically it's a more efficient way of getting it out of Kerbin orbit it goes a little something like this Okay, so there's one big middle engine and surrounding it are other big engines, solid fuel boosters, not solid, liquid fuel boosters. Uh, where do they go? No, that's not it. I might cut all this out. Okay, and what happens is we connect the fuel flow so that it's in a way that each tank gets used up, released, and then the engine sees the next tank, releases it, next tank releases it, next tank releases it, until we're left to do a middle tank. It's pretty neat. Oh, 
I was also thinking of doing the, what's it called, the Great War mod for Napoleon Total War. If you guys want to see that, just like this video, comment down below, and I'll do it. Almost done. What do we need to? Oh yeah, staging. There we go. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the asparagus system. It's probably the best uh, orbit leaving system you could do. I'll, I'll show you how it works when we uh, launch the satellite. Okay, so next off, we need to duct tape it all up. Okay, cool beans. Now let's finish the, oh yeah, first we need to save it so we can use it later. Oh shit. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, uh, we're back. Oh my God, I can't believe I did that deleted the whole thing. It took me like five minutes to do. <laughs> I'm not lazy, I swear. <laughs> okay. E S. Asparagus system. Save. There we go. Now we can call it anytime we want. Right, we won't attach it now. First we have to finish a little thingy, my Bob. Uh yeah. This looks good. Okay. Oh shit, that's not what it needs. Put this there. I guess no, that doesn't work. Yeah, that looks cool. That's MechJet, by the way. It's a very useful mod. Uh, what else does it need? Sorry, my head's all broken right now. Okay, we'll get some, some RCS. Only these two. Why isn't it working? Okay, there we go. We'll get some science in this bitch. Info drive? No, we don't need it, do we? Yeah, it's a satellite. Of course, it needs an info drive. It's like a whole two gigabytes. Okay. And of course, we need a monitor. The satellite with with uh, this thing, this thing. Wait, atmospheric. We don't need this. This thing though. This thing, of course. Um, 
the thermometer. Because, hey, we know space is pretty cold, but how cold it is is the real question. And there we go. Oh, no, no, no. We need proper... No, make two of these. But we need proper cool looking satellites for this. <laughs> it's very cosmetic, but it works. It does the job. There we go, that's our MTV space communicator. And this will allow our ships to communicate to the Kerbal, uh, the uh, Kerbin land base. It's a necessity. Okay, there we go. Let's launch this bitch. Okay. This, uh, why? Well, I edit, edit this. Okay. There we go. Uh, this is the uh, Kerbal Space uh, Command Team. Uh, about to uh, launch the uh, first Lebanese uh, uh, spacecraft into uh, the atmosphere. This is truly a memoric day. We never remember this. Cue cool footage. <laughs> Expecting much lag. One. Ah, yeah. It's. Oh, we've got to put parachute in this just in case it didn't work. Oh, oh no. Oh, damn it. Oh. It's not working. Oh. Bad and shit. Actually, no way. We're all gonna die. Uh. <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually. Well, that was a complete. Actually, no, this is role playing. Yeah, watch everything explode. In an immense amount of lag. Ugh. Why? Well, we could. Let's just let's see what it looks like in its full glory. Ah, oh, no, nah, they exploded. Yep. Didn't want it anyway. Well, now it's falling to its death. <sighs> Looks pretty cool, though. Let's speed this up. And 
poof, it's dead. Well, that was a complete utter failure. Okay, do you know what? We'll call this an episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. I forgot to say, when we come back, uh, we are going to relaunch <laughs> the satellite uh, in the next episode. Okay, now bye.
I forgot to say, when we come back, uh, we are gonna relaunch <laughs> the satellite. Uh, in the next episode. Okay, now bye. Thank you.